How's it going? What's your name? I'm Taylor. Taylor? Yeah. Oh, cool. Where, where are you from originally? I'm from Washington. I mean, I was born there, but I've been here for like the last 15 years. Been in Portland for 15 years? Pretty much. Uh, Hillsboro for uh, a couple years before that. I've been homeless in Portland for the last three. Three years? Yeah. Wow. Did you grow up with a mom and a dad? Um, pretty much. Uh, I mean, my mom, she was like the like the sole person, and then my dad was always the money maker, so we didn't really see much of him. Oh, he was, I mean, you were, they were together though, right? Yeah, for, for he, a while, yeah. He was just working and yeah. my mom was taking care of the house. Yeah. Kind of thing. Did you, did you graduate high school? I did, yeah. You did? Oh, cool. What did you do after that? Um, after high school, I, I attempted to go to college, but uh, it didn't work out because I didn't have a car and I was working full time at a Burger King. And so I didn't have the I, I didn't have the uh, the way to get to both work and school. So I got my money back from school. Oh, you did? Yeah. What did you do after that? Um, I tried to just work, and then I met somebody, fell in love, and kind of lost everything. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Did you guys get married or anything? Or yeah, we got married. Um, do you have any kids? Or no, no kids. No kids? It just didn't work out. No, I, I was a, I was. A, non-drug user i was a square you know I, I didn't do anything i just worked and did what i was supposed to do and then i met this guy and got introduced to this life and kind of got stuck <laughs> what, what kind of drugs um pretty much anything <laughs> pretty much you know I, i'm more of an opiate addict oh but, right now yeah so you're doing the fentanyl and all that stuff like that yeah i mean i'm working on getting clean oh yeah yeah oh cool so uh did you ever uh you ever keep contact with your family Every once in a while, I try. I, I distanced myself once I became homeless because I didn't really know if I was gonna live or die. You know, I was doing fentanyl a lot and I was overdosing quite often, and so I kind of distanced myself from them so that they didn't have to see wh how their daughter was. You know. Uh, how many times have you overdosed? Maybe three or four. Three or four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was it someone just Narcan you or? Yeah, I've been Narcan. Yeah. That's how they get you back. Or? Yeah. Wow. You just, you just. That, that addiction just keeps. It's a cycle, man. Yeah, man, that sucks, man. Yeah. Well, uh, so you said you plan to get clean and sober from that? Yeah, um, I heard of a program called Hooper, oh, and yeah. I, I heard that they they Hooper, can help you out with housing. Yeah. yeah, and so I was planning on doing that sometime this week. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What, what do you got any uh, like goals or plans? Um, right now people? it's just living day for day. You know, I. I I've learned a lot of like, you know, I've been disappointed a lot in my life and so it's just day for day. <laughs> day for day? Yeah. But I mean, your plan is just to get clean and sober, but after that, what do you, do you plan to... After that, like, my, my end goal is to become a psychiatrist and learn sign language so I can uh, counsel the deaf. Oh, really? Yeah. That'd be neat. That'd be awesome, man. Yeah. So you How old are you? You're still pretty young. Yeah, I'm 23. 23? Oh, yeah, you're really young. Uh, so do you have any life regrets? Um, I mean... Definitely being an opiate addict is definitely my biggest regret. Biggest it's regret. it's definitely taken a lot from me, and I think my life would be a lot better if I wasn't. But you know, I'm not gonna spend my life regretting everything because yeah. that just leads to more disappointment. You know. So when you first started taking opiates, was, was it from like, uh, is it just on the streets or? Yeah, the the we man I fell in love with, he was a heroin addict, oh, and so he kind of introduced me to it. Is it pretty hard to get heroin out here? Uh, recently, yeah, it's hard to get pretty much anything. The cops have definitely like pulled down on that. <laughs> oh, hard to get anything? Yeah, said? pretty much, yeah. Uh, the cops are getting strict, huh? Yeah. Getting people. Ooh, so, uh, uh, do, you, do you have any, any advice or any quotes you want to give anybody? Um, just life isn't as bad as people want it, like want to think it is. You know, life can definitely be a lot better. Than you know, than they think it is, you know, and they can strive and do whatever they want. They just gotta have the drive and determination. Well, that's cool. All right, yeah. thank you so much. I appreciate it.